basic white t-shirts are a staple in our closet year round. There are so many brands to choose from. How do you pick? We're going to figure that out today. I purchased eight of the top rated basic white tees for women for 2023. I've got four high end and I've got four lower end. I'm gonna take one high end and one low end of the similar fit and style and we're gonna compare them to see what you're getting for the money or what you're not. So let's jump right into it. Stick around to the end, I have a bonus t-shirt to share with you and I'll reveal my very favorite pick. So for reference, I'm five feet tall, 128 pounds, I'm a 34D chest, and I purchased each one of these t-shirts in a size medium. So hopefully that helps you gauge how they might fit on you. For all of the comparisons, I'm gonna be looking at the sheerness of the material, the softness of the material, the way the sleeves fit on the arm, the overall length of the t-shirt, the neckline, and the stitching quality. So this first comparison, I'm taking a higher and lower end of a boxy fit t-shirt. The high-end t-shirt is by the brand Mother. It's called the Lil Goody Goody t-shirt. And I'm wearing the higher-end brand right now. This is from Mother. It's made out of 100% Supima cotton and it came in at $85, you guys. Ouch. But as you can see, it's quite boxy. It's, it does not slim in at the waist. Um, it just pretty much goes straight down from the armpit down to the bottom. I do think the length is great. If you are petite, it's not too long. You can wear out. You could also tuck it in very easily. There wouldn't be a lot of excess material. The sleeves are fitting nicely, I think. And I think the stitching is okay. Not the highest quality, but it, I mean, it's okay. Um, I will say it's very soft and it's comfortable. Um, I do really like the t-shirt, I just don't like the price. So we'll get into whether or not I think it's worth it after we try it on the lower end to compare with this one. Okay, so this t-shirt is very comparable. This is from Mango. This was $25.99, which I think is still kind of spendy for a t-shirt. But you can see it has that similar boxy style. This t-shirt on me is a little bit tight in the shoulders, um, or actually maybe not in the shoulders, but where they hit me on the arm. It's a good length. It would tuck in easily or you could wear it out. So if you are shorter or petite like me, it, it works. This is made out of 100% cotton. And again, the stitching is okay. Not the greatest, but it's okay. So for $25.99, this is what you get. This is made out of 100% cotton. And again, the stitching is okay. Not the greatest, but it's okay. So for $25.99, this is what you get. I do want to mention that I don't do shrink tests, or I didn't do a shrink test. I don't typically dry my t-shirts, my white t-shirts in the dryer for that reason, exactly. So I did not do a shrink test on these, but assuming most of them are made out of cotton or some sort of blend of cotton, they may shrink depending on the other materials that are mixed in with it. Both of these are cotton. I would imagine they would shrink, um, but I don't, like I said, I don't put my t-shirts in the dryer. I find that they last longer and they wear better. So here is the $85 t-shirt. Here is the one from Mango that was 25. This is Mother. I will just be completely honest about this. I think this is a nice t-shirt, but there's nothing about it to me that is worth $85. So overall, I don't think the mother t-shirt is worth the price tag. It is a very soft, beautiful t-shirt. I really like the fit of it. But for this particular style of t-shirt, I would definitely go for the mango. $25.99 is still quite a bit of money for a t-shirt, but just for this comparison, 
definitely the mango wins. For the next comparison, I chose a high end and low end in a slim fit t-shirt. The high end t-shirt is from the brand Vince and it came in at $80. This is by Vince. It's 100% Pima cotton and this came in at $80. So again, another very expensive option for a basic white tee. This has a slimmer fit, as you can see. It does slim in through the waist. It is a little bit more opaque. I can see my bra through it right now. Sorry about that. Things you never wanted to see, right? <laughs> Um, the sleeves, I don't love. They're, they feel like more a little bit like a cap sleeve, um, but it's okay. I can see this t-shirt being a very good layering t-shirt because it is slimmer and because it's see-through, you know, it'd be real easy to throw on a sweater over this um, so that you wouldn't be saying things that you don't need to see. <laughs> the stitching on this, you guys, let me show this to you. It's not great. You see that raw hem right there that they didn't bother to tuck in and sew over? Um, the t-shirt overall is very thin. It's not, there's no real weight to it. So I question how long this would last or hold up or how soon you would have to replace it. Again, not sure the price point is worth it at all on this but I wanted to show you the comparison of a higher end versus a lower end. So let's put on the lower end. So this t-shirt is from Everlane. It was $30. It's made out of 100% organic cotton, and this is also a slim fit. You can see that it does trim in through the waist. It's very similar in the way it fits at the shoulders. It's a little bit tight on me uh, through my shoulders, and this is a size medium. So. Keep that in mind if this is something you're interested in and you're my size. Um, the stitching on this is very similar to the Vince where it's you can see this little bit of raw hem here. Again, I think this t-shirt would be good for layering because it is slimmer fit. It's not going to be you know, bunching up underneath. It is a little bit long, so again, if you're petite, keep that in mind. There's a little bit, I would prefer it to be a little bit shorter. It's not as see-through as the Vince t-shirt. One thing I will say about this t-shirt, the neckline is a little bit sturdier than the Vince. The Vince neckline felt very flimsy. So my overall thoughts on this comparison is there is absolutely nothing worth $80 in this t-shirt by Benz. It is super thin material. The neckline is flimsy. The stitching is, I mean, Haynes t-shirts has better stitching than this. Not worth your money. The Everlane t-shirt is a nice t-shirt at kind of that midpoint range. I still think $30 is a lot to spend for a t-shirt. But if you are looking for a t-shirt in this style where it's slim, easy to layer underneath other clothes, it would be an okay option. I still think there's better ones out there. So overall, my thoughts on this is that once again, the high dollar price tag for the Vince t-shirt, although it is a nice shirt, it's not worth the price tag. You're paying for the brand. The Everlane, I would not recommend if you are petite, like I am, but otherwise, if you're not and you're taller and don't mind a little bit of extra material or a little bit longer of a t-shirt, definitely go for the Everlane. Do me a favor, if you find this video to be helpful and you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing below. I really appreciate the support. The next comparison, higher to lower, is a form-fitting t-shirt. And I chose for the higher end to try Skims. This is their stretch cotton t-shirt and it came in at $48. This, this is 90% cotton and 2% elastane. I will say it is freakishly stretchy, you guys. It is comfortable. As you can see, this is form-fitting to <laughs> the T. Um, not my favorite, 
but for the sake of this comparison, I wanted to show it to you. This came in at $48. As I said, it is super stretchy and it is not too long. So again, if you're petite, something to keep in mind. I see this t-shirt being a great layering piece because you don't have a lot of extra bulk outside of the belly that you see. It is very, very form-fitting. It is soft. It feels really good on the skin. I mean, it's a nice t-shirt. Here is where I get lost. The color of this is not a bright white, a true white. It's more of a yellow. It reminds me of the white t-shirt that you've had forever that you forgot about back in your closet and it turns yellow because it's so old. That is such a turn off to me. I don't like that at all. I don't understand why they couldn't make this white. I don't think the yellow is particularly attractive and I don't understand what they were thinking. I think if they would have done a true white, it would have been so much better because I do see a use for this t-shirt. It's just, <sighs> thanks Kim K, complete humiliation. Um, but that's what I would say to Kim Kardashian. Do this again, but in a bright white. So this again, like I said, was $48. And I do see it being a good layering piece if that's what you're looking for. If you want something that is super soft and super stretchy, like crazy stretchy, this is a good option if you're willing to spend the $48 for a t-shirt that is not white. Another humiliating form-fitting t-shirt, but I'm doing this for you. <laughs> this is 94% viscose and 6% elastane. This is by a brand Shelm on Amazon. This came in at $17.99. It is a little bit see-through. I don't know if it comes through on the camera, but I can see my bra as well as all of the ripples and rolls and bulges underneath. Um, this, I think, would be a great layering piece under a sweater, under a jacket. Not a whole lot of bulk. It is super stretchy, um, very, very, very stretchy. It is, a, I would say, a little bit long for a petite. It's not too bad, actually. It, it can work if this is something you're looking for. The stitching is okay. This is what the stitching looks like. So if this is what you're looking for, I would skip the Kim K Skims t-shirt bandwagon and I would buy this. One thing I forgot to mention about the skin, it is made really well and I wanted to show you the stitching on it. It feels like this would last for quite a long time, um, but I wanted to make sure I went back and showed that to you. So my overall pick between the two, I'm actually gonna go with the skins. Outside of the color, this is a really, really nice t-shirt. It is so soft and like I mentioned before, it's crazy stretchy and it just feels really good on your skin. I'm hoping that Kim K will come back with another version of this t-shirt in an actual white. So for this comparison, the higher end t-shirt is kind of more mid-range, but for the sake of the comparison, and you'll see when I show you the lower end, it's about mid-range. And I chose a t-shirt from Mott & Bow. It is a Marcy fitted t-shirt. It is made from 50% Pima cotton and 50% modal. This t-shirt is by Mott and Bow. It came in at $30. This is our higher end for this particular comparison. It is made of 50% cotton, 50% modal. It's very soft, very nice, a little bit of stretch. It is a little bit too opaque for me. I can see my bra through this. This is a slim fit but it doesn't feel too slim. It is a little bit long for me. If you're taller, this would be fine. I like the way the shoulders fit. You could easily layer this. There's not a lot of extra material to bunch up. The stitching is just okay. Without, but at this price point, I think it's a decent option. 
Just keep in mind that it is a little bit see-through, so if that's something that you don't want, you might want to stay away from this option. But overall, I mean, it's a decent t-shirt for $30. Still high, but for the sake of this comparison, I wanted to show you this option. Okay, for the lower end slim fit t-shirt, this is Amazon Essentials. This is cotton, mobile, and elastic. I got these on sale. They, I purchased them in a two pack for $10 and some change, I think. I think the regular price for the two pack is around $20. So $5 each or $10 each, depending if you find it on sale or not. So this t-shirt has a much better weight to it than the Mountain Bow. It's not as opaque and see-through. The neckline feels a little flimsy, which is the thing with me. Maybe that's not something that bothers you, but just so you know, this shirt is incredibly, incredibly long. So if you're short or petite, this is gonna be too long for you. You won't be able to wear it out. I will say it is very, very soft. It is comfortable. I just don't think that it works for me simply because of the length. Um, if it was shorter, it would be a great lower end option to choose. The stitching is pretty decent, not too bad. And again, it is very soft, very comparable to the Mountain Bow. I would definitely say go for this one. It's so much cheaper and you won't feel bad if you need to repurchase it next season. But keep in mind that it is going to be a longer t-shirt, so if you're short or petite. So my overall pick for this one, I'm actually gonna go with Mountain Bow. I just like the structure of it. I think it's a little bit better quality. So for the price range, it's like I said, it's kind of like that mid range. And even though it is slightly long, it's not as long as the Amazon Essentials. So I mentioned that I was going to share a bonus t-shirt with you guys, and you guys might be very familiar with this t-shirt. It is from Uniqlo. I love this t-shirt. It retails for $15.99. It is a very nice, solid, structured, heavier weight t-shirt that is not see-through. The sleeves fit well. They're not too loose and baggy in the sleeves. It's maybe more of a boxy fit, but not as boxy as the mother that I showed you at the beginning of this video. It is a little bit slimmer, which I like, so it's not going to be too bunched up if you layer it underneath. So it's not gonna to be too much if you wanna layer it underneath. I like the length of this t-shirt. I think it's perfect to wear out or to wear in. And it feels really, really nice on the skin. It's very soft. This is such an incredible option for those of you out there that do not wanna spend 25, 30, and God forbid, 80 or $85 on a t-shirt. It's not necessary. I would not recommend that you do that. There's a lot of options out there, high, low, and everything in between. But I wanted to do the comparison on all these different brands and price ranges so that you could see what they are, what they have to offer, and if it's worth it or not. I personally don't think the Mother or the Vince t-shirt was anything near worth what I paid for them, which was 80 and $85. So much better. There are so many other better quality t-shirts to choose from. I hope you found this video helpful if you're on the search for that perfect t-shirt. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on any of the t-shirts if you've tried the skims. I'm really curious if anyone's tried the skims and what their thoughts were, especially on the color of that one. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, please consider giving me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.